Hello Great Freeze and welcome back. This week we will be moving on and we will be doing Unit 6 Lesson 2. So last week we did Unit 6 Lesson 1, this week Unit 6 Lesson 2. And as usual in our books, and this is on page 54 and 55. So Unit 6 Lesson 2. And Unit 6, Lesson 1 was about chores, jobs we do around the house. Unit 6, Lesson 2 is about more different chores. So let's see on page 54. So if we look on page 54 on top, we have six pictures and six vocabulary phrases. Different chores that you can do around the house. So let's look at number one. Number one is... Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Number two, take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. Number three, clean the bathroom. Clean the bathroom. Number four, Wash the car. Wash the car. Number five. Vacuum the carpet. Vacuum the carpet. And number six. Water the plants. Water the plants. So those are our six vocabulary phrases and chores that we'll be using in today's lesson. Number one, sweep the floor. Number two, take out the garbage. Number three, clean the bathroom. Number four, wash the car. Number five, vacuum the carpet. And number six, water the plants. Now we're gonna move on to section B. And at section B, we have this little blue box. And there is different times that you do stuff. Uh, quantity is how many times you do something you see the first one it's got full colored blocks there that means always that means you do it every day then the next one is usually and there's one block missing because usually means you do it a lot but not every day sometimes you do it Monday to Friday and maybe you don't do it on Saturday and Sunday so usually the next one is sometimes there's two blocks missing. So for this one, we do less sometimes. That means you do it once a week or twice a month. Then the last one, the block isn't colored at all. That's never, never. That means you don't do it. Never, you never do it. Then we're going to be using those in the sentence. So you see, we're going to change the sentence. Everything is in red. So we're going to be looking at the picture and then change the sentence with the vocabulary phrases. So they give us number one. Let's look at number one. Number one is a picture of a girl and she's sweeping the floor. And there we see underneath the full colored blocks. So we know that means always. So the sentence is I always sweep the floor let's look at picture number two picture number two we have a boy and he's taking out the garbage and underneath there's one block missing so let's look up there oh that means usually usually and he's taking out the garbage take becomes taking out so we're gonna be the sentence will be i Oh, it's, we're going to leave it as take. I usually take out the garbage. I usually take out the garbage. Let's look at picture number three. Picture number three. We have a girl and she's cleaning the bathroom. And underneath, we have two blocks missing. So that means sometimes. So the sentence will be, I sometimes clean the bathroom. Let's look at picture number four. 
Picture number four, we see a boy and his father is washing the car because underneath there's no blocks. So that means never. He never washes the car, his father washes the car. So the sentence is, I never wash the car. Picture number five, we have a girl and she's vacuuming the carpet, vacuum the carpet. And we see underneath full colored blocks. So that means always. So the sentence is, I always vacuum the carpet. Let's look at picture number six. Picture number six, we have a boy and he's watering the plants. And underneath, there's two blocks missing. So let's look up here. Choo. Sometimes. So the sentence will be, I sometimes water the plants. Now let's move on to page 55. And right on top, we've got C, section C. We have a question, question and an answer. So the question stays the same. The only thing we change is his or her. If it's a girl, we say her. If it's a boy, we say his. And then in the answer, we're going to use he or she. If it's a boy, he. If it's a girl, she. And we're going to change the words in red. With, always, sometimes, usually, never. The same as here. So we're going to be looking at the pictures. And what chores are they doing? Let's look. They always give us sentence number one. So they're going to give us the first question and the first answer. So here we look. There's two blocks. One is Emily and one is Jake. And those are their chores. So number one, two and three is Emily. So let's see what she does. They give us the first one. What are her, because it's a girl, chores? What are her chores? So what are her jobs around the house? What are her chores? And the answer is she always you see always and that's a broom for sweep she always sweeps the floor now let's look at number two number two is emily still but here it shows garbage and there it shows never so the question is what are her chores she never takes out the garbage Let's look at number three. Still Emily. So what are her chores? She sometimes, she sometimes cleans the bathroom. See, now we added an S. Takes out the garbage. Cleans the bathroom. Sweeps the floor. We just added an S. Now, let's look at number four. Now, number four is Jake, and it's a boy, so we're gonna use him and he. And he's got three chores there, and we're gonna look at the ratio. When is he doing it? How many times is he doing it? So let's look at number four. The question will be, what are his chores? He usually, this is usually, he usually washes, we add an ES, washes the car. He usually washes the car. So number five, what are his chores? Let's look. He always vacuums is the carpet. He always vacuums the carpet. Number six. What are his chores? He never waters, so we put an S, the plants. He never waters the plants. So that's our question and our answer. We added an S and we looked at the ratio. How many times does he do it? Always, usually, sometimes or never. So that is lesson two. So as usual, you're going to be watching this video on Tuesday and then on the Wednesday in the afternoon, I will see you in the live class 
where I will have a PowerPoint about this lesson and we will go over everything again to make sure that you understand. So in the meantime, guys, stay safe, be healthy, don't be naughty at home. And I can't wait to see you on Wednesday. Take care, guys. Goodbye.